you are turned on to Midwest Outdoors magazine. Since 1967, helping people enjoy the outdoors. Sponsored in part by Rappel Allures, Shakespeare Ugly Stick, America's strongest, most sensitive rod, Northwest Ontario, Canada, Abu Garcia, quality rods and reels for life, Arctic Cat ATVs, share our passion, and supercharged scent killer by Wildlife Research Center, 99%. This week on Midwest Outdoors, on the ice at Woodland Resort on Devil's Lake. Lake of the Woods action with the Otter Crew. And we join the Beaver Dam team at Lake Winnebago. It all starts right here, right now. Looks to be like a nicer one. Look at that, boys and girls. Welcome to this week's edition of Midwest Outdoors. I'm Jeff Katzer on behalf of Woodland Resort. We're here on beautiful Devil's Lake, North Dakota. Just got here, drilled a hole. I said to the camera guy, hey, there's fish here. Looked on the Vexar, dropped it down, and look at that. Beautiful 17 and a half inch here. This is exactly what you come to Woodland Resort fish out of our rental houses for right here. And we try every single day to make sure everybody that comes through our resort and rental houses has a blast and goes home with some of these. Ugh. Well, I would say that's a keeper. Boy, is that ever a nice guy. I mean, that is your perfect eating fish. That's like a 15 and a half, 16 incher. Now let me show you guys what I've been using. We basically just set up here real quick in one of the key spots. It's like a point with some rocks around the edge, drops off only about four or five feet. But what it is, it's something different. And they are uh, hitting this buckshot rattle spoon. And all I'm doing is tipping this now with a minnow head. And if I don't have any fish in, I wanna like uh, ring the dinner bell. And I want to hit that, I want to bounce it on the bottom like that and then just bring it up. And when the fish comes up, I make him chase it a little bit. Keep chasing it up, 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 and then I'll just stop. And he should come up and crush it, which has been the M.O. on these fish this morning have been just that. There we go. Another keeper. Look at the floor of my snow barrel full of minnows. It's been kind of crazy here this morning. These guys have been hitting like crazy. Put him in there with the other ones. Almost feels like a little perch coming in here. No, oh, another walleye. That's not a bad one either. I'll tell you what, this has been nonstop walleyes from the uh, 18 to 16s all down to these 12 and a half, 13 fellas. But next year, these will be perfect for you guys when you come up. When this airs, this fish will be 15 inches ready for you guys. Boy, I tell you what, we've really caught a lot. Now this is, this is the spot we're looking for. Right there, look at that, he's even displaying for you. I mean, we've literally only been here less than an hour. I'm completely covered in water from my knee to my shirt to everything. They have been just clobbering. I've got minnows laying all over the floor of the snow bear. This is fun, this is exactly what, when you guys come here, you wanna catch a nice fish like this. This is, a, you know, this is a 14, 14 and a half inch fish. Beautiful eater, look how fat they are too. That's the best part. They've got some meat on them. There is no size limit in North Dakota, just a pride limit, I guess you could say. And remember, when your season is closed in other states, Devil's Lake, North Dakota, we're open all year long, so you can come and do this. And by the rate of some of the years we've had for ice, we've fished up until almost the 1st of May on the ice. Now keep in mind, when you come here, your possession limit is twice your daily bag limit. So you can go home with 10 of these beauties, and you know, actually on the perch, you're allowed to go home with 80. So if you can get into these perch, like I'd like to show you in a little bit, you can go home with a lot of fish. Oh, did you see that? He, he hit the camera to get to the bait. Look at this thing. Oh, it's a big old pig. Look. Oh man, look at the size of this one. <laughs> Holy cow. He actually hit the camera Oh, did he get her too? We put a camera down because we so, we knew these were perch, and sure enough, he actually came and hit the camera, and came through and just slaughtered that buckshot rattlespoon with the minnow head. Look at how beautiful he is. That is a great little butterball right there. Oh yeah, there we go. That's what we're after. Now all I did, I just changed the presentation on exactly what we were doing. That's all. I went to an orange versus the, uh, I was using an orange buckshot before, 
but they didn't like that. So I went with a jig and wrap, again, with just that waxy right off the bottom on that dropper hook. And there's the rewards, nice fatty. We're gonna take him home too. It's a good one here. Oh, he's caught. Okay. Oh, gosh. Look at this thing. Here's what I did. I put a new UV buckshot on. It wasn't down there for five seconds. This thing rifled right up off the bottom and grabbed it. What a beauty. So here at Woodland Resort, this is what we strive for. We want happy faces when we open the door. And you can pick from one of our many packages. We have ice fishing packages that range from the motel to our lodge unit to beautiful cabins with all the amenities. And we also have new owners in our restaurant and bar. It's going absolutely wonderful. And don't forget us for any kind of fall waterfall uh, hunting that you would like. Check us out at woodlandresort.com or simply give us a call at 701-662-5996. Hey, hey, if this is what I think it is, that's a little nicer one now. There we go. We had a great day today out at Woodland Resort. This is just another awesome fish to finish out our day. If you're looking to book a trip up here to Devil's Lake out of one of the Woodland Resort ice houses, look us up online at woodlandresort.com. I'm Jeff Katzer for Midwest Outdoors. We'll be back after this. The hunt begins with Wiley X Eyewear. Stay sharp and see sharp with unparalleled clarity and contrast. Battlefield proven ballistic protection you can trust. Wiley X Eyewear, absolute premium protection. The new Beaver Dam Titanium Tip Stick is the first ice rod with a built-in extendable titanium spring bobber, making it the most versatile ice rod ever. Extend the bobber for ultralight panfish jigging or retract it for game fish or when it's time for travel. It even has a built-in rattling handle to attract fish. It took a while to come up with an ice rod worthy of the Beaver Dam name, but when we did, boy, we nailed it. Good morning, ice fishing fans. I'm Chris Whitty. This is Troy Tufto. We are on Lake of the Woods. Uh, we're looking for some late season sauger and walleye. And you know, Troy, I gotta tell you, it is, uh, it is really nice out here. A week ago, we would not be standing out here with these smiles on our faces. But uh, you know, the change of weather, hopefully uh, some change in the uh, biting behaviors and uh, hopefully we'll get to them early. So what do you say we get to it? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Now that's how you get them. <laughs> you, you know, we've been sitting here and the fish are coming through. It seems like about every 15 to 20 minutes. Troy's marking one right now. We just got a hit here. Sugger. There's obviously some patience that goes on, a little bit of paying attention so that you are noticing when they are coming through, but. Uh... Yeah, it's not steady, so you gotta be ready. <laughs> and you're a poet and you didn't even know it. <laughs> These fish are biting so lightly. That I mean, there is zero feel. If you're not watching the end of your rod, uh, you're gonna you're gonna be missing them all day long, and they are not uh, reacting at all to an aggressive. No, I'm gonna actually. Jig. I just I finally just let it you know get their attention and let it sit, and then just watch just watch your rod tip. Well, after your last fish, I I decided to downsize. Oh wait. Oh, there we go. <laughs> awesome. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, he's hooked in the, oh, I had, that's what happened. Here we go. Nice fish. Holy smoke. There we wow. Go. Oh, see, that was messing around with my dead stick. So it was, it was so light a bite on. That is a nice sauger. That's a nice sauger. 
I think you got my line too. I just downsized. <laughs> and Evidently you made the right decision. Yeah. I think they're biting so light that I didn't feel them on my jigging rod until he got tangled up in my, <laughs> in my dead stick. That's awesome. Nice. That is a beauty. That is worth eating. You know, one of the things that's happening today that uh, Troy and I have run into is, and, and I think a lot of fishermen do, that, um, you know, the, the fish aren't uh, uh, reacting to an aggressive uh, jigging pattern at all. No. Um, and in, in a lot of cases, uh, we're finding it's better to do nothing. You know, set your jig down there, um, you know, wrap it a few times to get their attention. Um, once they come in, as you just found out. Yeah, What's, what we found out though is it's hard to do nothing. <laughs> it is hard to do nothing, but we recommend it when the fish aren't, aren't, aren't being aggressive. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's all right. Oh, good fish. Yeah, that's kind of what we were looking for today, wasn't well, it, Troy? Uh, we heard it was an afternoon bite, and it is now, what, 12.03? Yeah, nope, they weren't so, lying. It's officially afternoon. Truth, truth telling fishermen. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, that's, uh, that's exactly what we're looking for. Great. Nice now, one of the things I, I all, you know, always watch when you're dropping down a fresh lure is, you know, even if you're not marking them right, uh, right at the time, there you go. watch them because they pop right up. This is interesting. So you got a sauger. You know, for a lot of people, um, you know, telling the difference, when they get smaller, it gets a little harder. But you notice on the sauger, the barring on the, on the fins here with the walleye, it's pretty much, you know, clear with the vertical bands like that. On a walleye, on the tail, if you can see the tip. The white tip. Yep, the white tip where a sauger doesn't have that. Troy, um, this is the first time you and I have ever been out together in a resort. In the resort fish house. Yeah, yeah. that's right. You know, we, we're so close to the product line all year long, but to actually go out and fish out of it, uh, it's really opened my eyes up to the roominess. I'm digging it, yeah. We're, we're fishing four holes, we have our electronics, we have our heater, and we have plenty of room to, to get around. And we've seen a real big uptick in sales of the product over the last couple of years since we went to the full thermal. Yeah. You know, in the past, it was such a large house that it was hard to heat. And now that it's got the 1200 denier, fully quilted sewn interior uh, sidewalls, it's nothing to heat it. Yeah, that's probably what I've noticed the most today too. This one came right off the bottom. Nicer one. Yeah, he feels a lot better. Oh, Got him? It's all wrapped up. Yeah, that's nice. There we go. Nice one. Very nice. Well, yeah, he did come a lot more aggressively than the rest of the fish we've been seeing today, but... Good. All right, Let's get back down. into some walleyes. Well, thank you, Troy. I had a great time fishing with you today. Yeah, me too. Um, it was uh, a little bit of work, but we ended up getting it done. Yeah, we got, we got some fish on the ice. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We'd really like to thank Arneson's Resort. Uh, if you're interested in checking out any of the products we've used today, Go to iceforce.com. On behalf of Troy Tufto and myself, Chris Whitty, we'll see you next time on Midwest Outdoors. Looking for your window to the outdoors? We have you covered with a Midwest Outdoors magazine subscription. Call now, 1-800-606-FISH, and for the low price of only $14.95, you receive 12 big issues of Midwest Outdoors magazine. Every month, Midwest Outdoors sends you the ultimate fishing and hunting guide to the outdoors. Call 1-800-606-FISH or visit MidwestOutdoors.com to get your ultimate guide to the outdoors. If you don't have one, you need one. Ready for a hard water adventure? Come see what over a hundred years of fishing at Arneson's has to offer. Venture onto Lake of the Woods aboard one of Arneson's state-of-the-art track vans. Fish walleye, sauger, northern pike, and jumbo perch. Experienced winter guides move fish houses to keep you on the fish. Spend a night on the ice or in one of our fully equipped cabins. Enjoy first class service at the Rock Harbor Lodge and full service bar. Visit Arneson's.com and begin your Lake of the Woods adventure. Hey folks, I'm Larry Ladowski with Midwest Outdoors. Today I'm fishing with Matt Pachanich of Beaver Dan Fishing Tackle. We're here on Lake Petenwell 
and we're going tomorrow to Winnebago. Two completely different styles of fishing, right? That's right, Larry. Today, we use this, the new Beaver Dam titanium tip stick rod. These fish are super finicky on peat and well. We tried a whole bunch of different things, spoons, little jigs tipped with pork and spikes. And I'll tell you, you can barely shake it to get a bite today. And this, this strike indicator was huge. But tomorrow, it's a whole different ball game. It's gonna be super aggressive, but we're still gonna be fishing for white bass and crappies. Folks, stick with us. We will see you tomorrow on Winnebago. Here we are on Winnebago, completely different presentation here. We got crystal clear water as opposed to murky water. What we're doing, it's a very aggressive presentation here. I mean, you're sitting there and wiggling, wiggling, jigging, jigging, jigging as hard as you can to get these guys to come up off the bottom. And then when they come up, you kind of hold it still or else you little move it a little way from them and then they attack it. Yesterday, completely different bite. Two different bodies of water were about an hour and a half apart from each other and this is the result right here. Nice job, Larry. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Fish. Oh, baby. Now they're white bass. Get up here, big boy. Nice. What's really interesting, what's going on here right now is we're on a big school of white bass. And the key is not to have this cast master down on the bottom because that, that's not going to allow them to layer. What you want to do is stay three or four feet off the bottom and have those fish layer. As soon as they layer, it turns into a challenge. And, they, and then they go on a feeding frenzy, and this is the right. result. Way to go. We got Kirkwood. It's thumping. Nice. Woo. Nice. Beautiful. Oh, I got one. Larry, Larry. You know, we're here, we're fishing on a big flat, only in about 15 feet of water. And I'll show you what we're using. Castmaster, mine's a little chartreuse green, tipped with a little Uncle Josh pork right there. Larry, I'm hooked up. They're hitting. There's another white bass. I'll tell you what. I'm using this new custom carbon fiber rod. We're gonna be out here pounding these spoons super hard all day. And this rod is super light. I'm not gonna get, my arms aren't gonna get tired. And as you can see, it's got that real fast taper right there. And that's what you want to get a really good hook set in that fish. But yet you can see I don't have a spring bobber. So this, this rod with that real fast taper allows me to still detect a bite without a spring bobber and keep hammering these white bass. Just want to introduce Kurt. Kurt's the owner of Beaver Dam. I'm glad he could come out and join us today. It was good to get him out of the office because we're pounding crappies and white bass out on Winnebago today. He's sitting in the office, doesn't it? Nice fish, Kurt. The cast master is what we're using, and it's been around for 60 plus years. And the two smallest sizes are the 12 ounce and the eighth ounce, and they've been very effective for white bass, walleyes, perch, and crappie over the years. But this season we have a 124 ounce coming out, which is the perfect size for crappies. Is what you can see right here, I had the three sizes laid out. The 124, the 12 ounce, and the eighth ounce. And then if you're fishing a lot deeper and for bigger game fish, the sizes go up. These are the key three sizes when you're fishing. Got, a, got them all layered, I got them all layered, they're coming up. Oh, missed them, drop it back down on them. One thing I wanna, I wanna talk about here is when you get them coming up real fast like that and they miss it, you wanna drop right down on them and stop at about a half a foot and you can, get them, you can get them to come back up and commit. But you never wanna drop your bait below the fish. There's one. There you go, that was a perfect scenario right there, folks. Nice crappie. He, he came racing up off the bottom. I missed him. I dropped it right down on him as he was going back down real slow on the graph. I stopped it about six inches above him to a foot, stopped it and just shook it. I got, I got him to commit and come right back up and I kept raising it and he ate it. Fish. Fish, 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 they're stacked over fish. here now. Hey, we got one too, too. Ooh, darling. Oh, nice. Oh, he's Larry, we got a double, Larry. Double. I'll tell you what. Double. Triple, tripler. Oh, yeah. Look at this, folks. Look at this. That doesn't happen every day of the week. Four 
consecutive fish all at the same time. I don't know if I can go home today. <laughs> I might have to call my wife and Maybe just stay out here overnight. all night. Folks, I'm telling you, this is literally one after another. You drop it down, get them coming. As we talked about, shake it. It's those little things that's going to get you bit like this. So pay attention to the mood that the fish are in. Make sure you always keep your bait above them. That's the result. Wow, what a morning of fishing. I tell you what, I hope you learned a little bit of what we were doing today. Make sure you let the water or the fish talk to you. Listen to what they're telling you. Use the techniques with your gear. I want to thank Kurt as well as Mark and Matt for joining me here today on Winnebago. Midwest Outdoors will be right back. I'm Larry Ladowski. We'll catch you later. Delivering power on demand with the push of a button. The new 50-volt lithium laser from Strikemaster is capable of making short work of as many as 56 holes in 24 inches of ice on a single charge. Featuring many of the same components found in all of Strikemaster's power augers, the lithium laser cuts no corners and delivers uncompromising durability. This winter, don't settle for anything less than the dependable Strikemaster lithium laser. Ice fishing's first full-power, high-performance electric ice auger. There's always more at the Moores Resort and Marina on Kentucky Lake. The Moores offers everything you need for a weekend fishing trip or family vacation. We have 35 cottages, a lodge with a large meeting room, a marina with two free launch ramps, boat rentals, bait, tackle, and more. There's also a pool and sandy beach, lakeside pavilion, free miniature golf, as well as our own Ralph's Harbor View Grill, all located on a 50-acre peninsula in the heart of beautiful Kentucky Lake. Plan your next getaway soon at the Moores Resort and Marina on Kentucky Lake. Log on to mooresresort.com for more details. I'm John Munson with Bill's Gun Shop and Range, and this is my son, Brandon. You know, we spend a lot of time on the range, and what we find is the more experienced people get with firearms, the more comfortable they become with firearms, the more often we see they get complacent with the simple firearm safety handling rules. So that's why today we're gonna to talk about the four principles of firearm handling. Number one, treat every firearm as if it is loaded. Number two, never point a firearm at anything you are not willing to destroy. Number three, always be sure of your target and what is behind it. And number four, Keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to fire. If we focus on these four simple firearm basic handling skills, I guarantee we'll have a good time in the range. We'll see you at the range. You ready, bud? Yep. All right. hottest bait under the ice hammered slender spoons from custom jigs and spins for the ultimate ice fishing adventure the only choice is woodland resort in devil's lake north dakota we offer multiple lodging options heated rental houses plowed trails on-site tackle shop bar and restaurant and then there's the fishing Your adventure begins at woodlandresort.com. Closed captioning of Midwest Outdoors, sponsored by Midwest Outdoors Magazine, on your newsstand now, and the all-new MidwestOutdoors.com, loaded with video, articles, and TV episodes.